Hell Girls is a complex narrative filled to the brim with a rich and thralling plot. The character development bounces out to the audience to impact you with a rising action that races towards its climax in a way boobs. Hell Girls is a very bare bones, very casual time waster that makes no attempt at hiding what it's supposed to be. It's a simple match 3 type game not unlike Bejeweled with a hint of RPG mechanics framed around the concept of anime titties. You get to choose one of three girls with varying stats and abilities to take into the battle board, and you know, I wish I could call them by their names, but they are literally Fire Girl, Ice Girl, and Thunder Girl. Could you have put more thought than nothing into the naming of your main characters? Honestly, how hard can this be? Red Warrior Girl that likes to beat things up? Boom! Scarlet. Icy Tank Girl with a Nazi bandana? S Snows and Fraulein. Heterochromia Magic User with Striped Thigh Highs? Best Girl. You can think of the gameplay as a turn-based RPG battle that relies on connecting blocks to conduct. Your goal is to drop the enemy's HP to zero while preventing them from dropping yours. You do this each turn by breaking one of five different block types. Hearts recover HP, potions recover your magic, swords deal physical damage, stars deal magical damage, shields raise your shield, and each girl has special blocks that form when you break four or more normal blocks in a single chain. Occasionally, enemies will summon their own blocks to disrupt your combos, and you have to deal with them either by blowing them up with your own special blocks or take a big chunk of damage. You can also use customizable abilities that use up your magic, each with their own unique effects and cooldowns. On paper, all of this sounds really fun. This system setup actually makes it so that you have to think about how to manage your damage and defenses to get through each enemy. Once in a while, monsters can drop different outfits for the girls that affect stats and create boners. This does make the grinding a little bit more bearable, which I can't complain about. However, there is almost nothing else going on in the game. If Hell Girls were padded out with side quests or cutscenes to break the monotony of every battle, it might be worth looking into. Instead, what we have is a cyclical hell of killing minions, connecting squares, and cute girls saying <laughs> Can't bitch too much though because you really get what you pay for. At the moment, the game full price costs $2. Is it worth it? Well, you have to consider the opportunity cost. For $2, you could buy a drumstick and a thigh at Popeyes on Tuesday. For $2, you could purchase a replacement key, you know, if you broke or lost a key beforehand. Uh, for, for $2, you can get some ketchup for that chicken that you theoretically bought earlier. The, the possibilities are endless, really. So you know what? If this is your thing, go for it. Don't let people tell you otherwise. In fact, if this thing takes off, there will be more softcore anime games on Steam. And if you don't want that future, then we can't be friends. There. I said it. I'm Dennis Atal, and I have shit taste in anime.